I tell you what, the weather, when it's ramped up like this, I mean, the weather is really freaking cool, man. I dig it. Your visibility is, like, gone. You're getting, like, these uh, little lightning, you know, storms up there in the clouds. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I wish we could uh, have this weather on for a little bit longer. It'd definitely uh, make, like, the dark zone or, you know, some of these uh, outdoor missions. Maybe, like, Capitol Building, something like that. It'd probably feel pretty cool if it had, like, some crazy weather the whole time you're outside. Anyways, we're getting off track here. Okay. Armor on kill. So in the new update, uh, well, let's go ahead and do the intro first, shall we? Here we go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with a special Division 2 video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But this video is going to be pretty packed. Um, I'm not going to be able to do a timestamp until the video is over. And when I do a timestamp, I will pin it in the comment section. So if you beat me to it, I'll pin your comment up there. But it's going to be up there after the premiere. Because you can't skip around during the actual live premiere. So whenever this is done and over with, I will uh, pin it in the comments. But the reason why I'm saying that and stressing the timestamps and all that in the pinned comments is because I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff right here. Reason being is during the PTS, I was able to test quite a number of things. I put together, I don't know, a dozen builds, and I was testing out a lot of different things. And in this one, I decided to combine a few because I have so many of these uh, videos that I need to post them all before this update actually goes live. So within this one, I'm going to show you two different builds. I'm going to show you Dark Zone gameplay, showing you how the build would actually work in a PvP environment. I will show you what skills work with these builds and everything in between. But without further ado, this is going to be Armor on Kill builds coming to the Division 2 starting Title Update 20. So all of this gameplay footage build breakdowns, everything I'm about to show you is from the PTS. That is the public test server, and I am testing out these builds before they go live in just a couple weeks. So I hope you enjoy. This is going to be two different armor on kill builds, one with the ninja bike, one with the perfect bloodsucker backpack. One is giving us, I believe it's 98% armor on kill, and the other one is giving us 88% armor on kill, but with perfect bloodsucker, so then it's like, well, I mean, I guess technically that's 100% because you get 12% bonus armor every time you get a kill with perfect bloodsucker. So I'm going to show you 98% armor on kill versus 100% armor on kill. And then I'm going to show you DZ gameplay footage. I'm going to show you what skills to use, what skills to destroy, what to focus on to get that armor back immediately because armor on kill is a main focus in this next update, especially with the new brand set giving you armor on kill and uh, a few other things with that gear set. But we'll talk about that in another video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll that footage. There will be two different builds and gameplay footage at the end. So look for those timestamps in the pinned comments whenever this premiere is over. I hope you have a great weekend. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Enjoy, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Oh, yeah, and roll that footage. I know a lot of people, you know, throw around the term never die or unkillable or godly build or anything like that. Well, this is one of those builds that actually matches that description. This thing has 98% armor on kill. That's not with bonus armor. That is armor. Armor on kill. 98%. Now, we are in the PTS, and this will be going live in February. So let me go ahead and give you a sneak peek, shall we? All right, here we go.
What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 PTS video. Now sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But in today's Division 2 video, we're going to talk about this Ninja Bike Armor on Kill build. So here we go. Now, why am I trying this build out first of all? Well, there's one major reason. This is the brand new brand set, the Palisade Steelworks. Now, what this does, the first piece gives you 10% armor on kill. The second piece gives you 60% health. And then the third piece gives you a skill tier. Now, we're not using the skill tier, but we are most definitely using that armor on kill. Now this is a test build. So starting off at the top, we are using the gunner specialization for the 10% armor on kill just for that. For the primary weapon, we are using the mop. This is the named 612 shotgun with 10% armor on kill as well, but it also has preservation. Now preservation gives you 10% armor on kill, but an additional 10% if you get a headshot kill. So that's where you get that 98% armor on kill, is if you get a headshot kill with this weapon. You will get 98% of your armor back. Now, if you want to get super technical, I think it's 97.6, just so you know. But that's the mop. Now I'm using this with the St. Elmo's and here's why. What I typically do is I'll start with the St. Elmo's, I'll get the enemy's armor down or whatever, a little bit, and then I'll switch over to the mop, you know, do a little boom, boom, mop them up and get that armor on kill. Pretty simple setup. Now if that doesn't work, I do have a backup boomstick with preservation as well. But it is all about the mop. That does give you that 10% armor on kill and then that additional 20% if you get that headshot kill with preservation. All right, now off to the build. This is a 2.1 million armor build. Everything is expertise max because it will be stupid cheap to max out your expertise with this new update. Now this build is only possible because of the Ninja Bike Messenger bag and you have to have armor on kill mods. You can see I have an 18.8K mod here, an 18.8K mod here, and another 18.8K mod here. Now everything on this build is rolled to either armor region or health across the entire build. Now the reason for that is I wanted max survivability because I also have unbreakable. So Unbreakable gives us back 95% of our armor as soon as it's depleted. And well, if I jump over to the defensive tab, we are over 2.1 million armor. So with that Unbreakable, that means we are over 4 million armor with armor region of 45.8K per second. And if we get a headshot, we get over 2 million armor back on kill. That's 1.6, eh, 1.65 million right here on paper, and then another 420k whenever I get a headshot with this preservation. Now, as far as the build breakdown, again, it's only possible because of the ninja bike. Reason being is that resourceful talent. So any brand set or gear set, you automatically get another brand set or gear set bonus activated with the ninja bike. So, with that being said, that means we have two pieces of Bellstone, two pieces of Palisade Steelworks, two pieces of 511, two pieces of Uzina, and two pieces of System Corruption. Now, what does that give us? Well, here's Bellstone Armory. We get the Armor Region and Armor on Kill from the brand set bonuses. We have Max Armor, Armor Region, and Health with that Armor on Kill mod. For the chess piece, Palisade Steelworks, we get armor on kill and health, 
And then we have health and armor region for the attributes with a armor on kill mod. And the talent unbreakable, giving us 95% of our armor back every time it's depleted. Going down to system corruption, the two piece gives us armor on kill, 15%. And we also have armor region. For the knee pads, using a Getica. Armor region and health for the attributes. And for the brain set bonuses, we get total armor. And you guessed it, armor on kill. And finally, the death grips. These are the named 511 gloves with armor on kill as an attribute. We also have armor region, and for the brand set bonuses, we get health and incoming repairs. And that's the build. Full, just armor on kill. Nothing extra on top of it, just that with the mop preservation, and you are good to go. Now again, looking at the stats, the only thing that really matters is this defensive tab. We are over 2.1 million armor, over 1.6 million armor on kill before all the other ones, over 45.8k armor region per second, and 728k health. And there you have it. The new Ninja Bike armor on kill build giving you 98% of your armor back every time you get a headshot kill. Now I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye, Dean. Peace out. All right, so this build is a little bit different, and this is the one where we kind of go, would you rather this or that? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, before, I have showed you a 98% armor on kill build. That was without Bloodsucker or anything. That was with the Ninja Bike and just straight up, every time you got a headshot kill with that preservation, you were getting 98% armor on kill. Now with this one, this one I lowered it to 88% armor on kill with that headshot and preservation. However, this one you get 120% bonus armor because of perfect bloodsucker. So we kind of went from 98% armor on kill with a headshot to now we're getting like 200% armor because now we get the 120% bonus armor from the perfect bloodsucker and we get the 88% armor on kill with the preservation headshot. It's crazy, but let's uh let's look at it, shall we? Here we go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, we lowered the armor on kill, but we added Perfect Bloodsucker. So in a sense, we actually like doubled the armor now that we're getting because of all that bonus armor. So, looking at the top, we have the Gunner specialization. This gives us 10% bonus armor. For the weapon, we have the Mop, because that also gives us 10% bonus armor, but this Mop has preservation on it, so we get 10% additional armor on kill, but if we get a headshot, a headshot kill will give us another 10% armor. Now with the build itself, we have 2 million armor just off the rip, but this time instead of running Unbreakable, we have Intimidate. So whenever you have bonus armor, you will gain a stack max of nine, and you get 4% weapon damage per stack. So that's 36% weapon damage to all enemies within 10 meters. Now we're getting the bonus armor from the Bloodsucker talent. Um, but we should probably start off at the top, right? Yeah, let's start off with the mask. So Bellstone Armory. We're running two pieces of Bellstone Armory. 
Now the brand set bonuses for this build, we get 1% armor regen and then 10% armor on kill. As far as the attributes, we have armor for the core, armor regen with health, and a armor on kill mod. The other piece of bowstone armory is the backpack. This is the liquid engineer backpack, and this is the named bellstone armory that give you that perfect talent, perfect bloodsucker. So killing an enemy will add 12% bonus armor for 10 seconds, max of 10. So you can have 120% bonus armor from this build. Now, as far as the attributes, max armor for the core, max health, max armor regen, with a max armor on kill mod. Going to the chest piece, Palisade Steelworks chest. Now, this is the brand new brand set that is uh, coming to the game in year five, season three. And the brand set bonus for this build, we get 10% armor on kill. For the attributes, we have armor for the core, health, and armor region with a armor on kill mod. And then, of course, intimidate, increasing that weapon damage. Going to the gloves, we have death grips. These are the named 511 gloves with armor on kill as an attribute. We also have armor for the core, armor region, and then health from the brand set bonus. And finally, we have two pieces of system corruption. This gives us 15% armor on kill from the gear set bonus. I have armor and armor regen rolled on both of these. So what does that give us? Well, in the stat sheet, we are sitting at, well, a little over 1.37 million armor on kill. So that would round up to what? 1.4 million armor on kill? But that is excluding the 20% from a preservation headshot, and that's also excluding the perfect bloodsucker that can give you up to 120% bonus armor. So there's a lot of other things that are happening behind the scenes, but this is what it looks like just sitting here on paper. 49.8k uh, armor region per second on top of this. And we only have 500k health, which is crazy because all of these things with double attributes, we put health on there. So to only have 500k, that is pretty worrying. But all right, I'm using this with the Fixer drone. So this gives us another 21k armor per second. And the Banshee Pulse. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Would you rather use this one or the ninja bike with unbreakable and that one just gave you the you know just the straight up 98% armor on kill this one you only get 88% armor on kill but then you also get that you know 120% bonus armor so this one definitely gives you more and you're able to use intimidate with this version so i don't know let me know what you think in the comment section below. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Peace out. Um, here, Fudsy, put on a... Let me see. Put on a... Can you put on a turret? Like, uh, just do, uh, f I don't know, any turret. And then do a drone, do turret drone. Now what I'm going to do, because this is the armor on kill build, uh, I'm going to just shoot your skills and show the armor that I get back just from shooting your skills. All right, we ready? Yep. Here we go. Yep. All right, just throw out your skills. Rogue assault turret detected. All right, get my uh, armor down a little bit. Hostile assault turret detected. All right, let's Rogue see. Here. There you go. Detected. All right, thank you.
And watch this. Oh, it didn't work. Hold on. Watch this. So it's looking as if... Shit, that doesn't work. No. The preservation and the bloodsucker worked. But the armor on kill did not work. Interesting. So it did proc the bloodsucker and the preservation. Here, try that again. Throw out just like your uh, your drone. And no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so he's shooting me, shooting me. Okay. Yeah. That worked. Oh, that one did work. Hmm. Well, no. A hey, uh, throw out your drone. Trying to think of how else I could test this. So get my uh, get my armor down to like half. Okay, let's see. No, that was only preservation and blood sucker. Yeah. Yeah, that was Preservation and Bloodsucker. Both of those propped on the drone. Throw your turret back out, and then get my armor down to half again. Behind you. Yep, that's fine. Okay. All right, against the drone, here we go. That's Preservation, that's Bloodsucker. Yeah, that's that's it. Interesting. So I don't get armor on kill from either one of those, but I get preservation and bloodsucker. Um, well, I'm glad we're testing this. Uh, throw out your decoy and uh, try a... Hmm. Decoy. Try a seeker mine. Just put it on the ground. Maybe I can shoot it before it kills me. You want me to go to regular explosive? Uh, what? Uh, yeah. And then what was the other one? Oh yeah, decoy. Try the decoy real quick, and then uh, get my armor down to half. Okay. All right. Decoy. Preservation, bloodsucker. Um, air, uh, yeah, it's looking like the armor on kill is not working at all for uh, PvP. But if I go to my stats, it still shows that I get, just from the armor on kill, 1.375 million on kill. So that's not it's not giving me that at all because that that would be nope. well over half my armor back instantly. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Well, now we know that doesn't really work in PVP. Um but if I were to kill you, hmm. So here, get my armor down to like a sliver. Go. And then I will see how much I get back. Alright, get my armor down. And here. Oh, hold on. No, yeah, get my armor down. I want to see. Thank you. Nothing on your knee. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it only gives it back only on kill. Got it. Okay. Only on kill. All right. Uh, be right back.